Police are working to get traffic flowing as soon as possible after accidents. Officers just started using a new system to reopen roads more quickly. Crash reconstructionist Jim Cody with the Indiana State Police took many digital pictures at this deadly crash on State Road 18 and Springboro Road Monday. His objective was to reopen the street as quickly as possible by using a new technology called photogrammetry. The roads are being closed too long, and a lot of times it's because of crash reconstruction, trying to do a good investigation. But being thorough could cause more accidents. Statistics are telling us that 20% of all crashes uh, are due to secondary crashes, uh, which means they're in backed up traffic. Here's how it works. Cody takes various pictures of black markers with a number for reference. Normally, laser technology to measure crash scenes takes two hours. Photogrammetry takes much less, 30 to 45 minutes. Then he puts all the pictures into a computer. And the software that comes along with this uh, equipment package allows us to take those two dimensional photographs, reference them with each other, and create a 3D image of the crash scene. The scene can then be used in court. For instance, we can animate that, that crash and show the actual crash in three dimensions over and over to a jury. Uh, so they actually would be able to maybe feel like they were there and can see the actual vehicles come together and how they came together. Officers can also verify witness accounts. So if you have a witness that says they were at a certain point or in a certain area and saw the crash, you can actually put yourself at that point and see what perspective they actually had on the crash. The technology is being piloted in our area around the I-65 corridor. The goal is to expand photogrammetry statewide and use it in every crash reconstruction. Photogrammetry equipment is $7,000 less expensive than the laser equipment currently used. The system costs about $3,000.